Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. My name is Zachary Newsomow. I'm currently a full-time student here at SUNY Oswego. I'm the business and sales representative for WNYO and producer and host of my own show on WTOP. I also work part-time in town at Oswego Cinema 7 and run the Wanzone Calzones Instagram account. And now I bring you guys the Lakeside Dining Hall series where I get to sit down with some friends of mine, eat some delicious food, and hear some great stories. I hope you guys enjoy this just as much as I did making it for you. Peace. Hello everyone, welcome to the first of four episodes we're doing on the Lakeside Dining Hall series. Like I said, I'm Zach Nussi and I'm alongside a good friend of mine, Melinda Broncado. She's a freshman here at SUNY Oswego. So Melinda, share a little bit about yourself. Oh, I have a lot to share. So, I am a freshman here at SUNY Oswego. I'm from around the area. I'm a triplet. I have two brothers, one of which actually attends here as well. Um, I am currently studying public relations, but I was previously a biology student. Didn't last very long, wasn't for me, but we have a lot of great services here. Career Service Center is one of them, um, and they really provide me great resources to find my path as far as majors go. I serve as the Director of Public Relations for the Broadcasting Station here, WTOP10. Um, I also have an original production with my friend Vega, um, and it is called Major Discussions, where we share those student stories here on campus. We have a lot of fun with that. Um, I, I try to get really, really involved this coming fall in 2022. I'm going to be the Assistant Event Director for the Media Summit. Wow. Which is super exciting. It's a big deal, it's, yeah. As a freshman too, huge. big deal. I'll be a sophomore then, but I am just thrilled to be really part of this campus and put myself in it. No, oh, yeah, that's awesome. That's this is an ideal freshman that everyone should be <laughs> like super involved on top of it. Just a great person overall. And I'm so happy that we get to sit down and eat some food and talk about food. Let's go get some right now. Oh yeah. You hungry? I'm starving. Yes, let's, <laughs> let's go get go. some food. to get the sweets but uh, yeah we need some fruit if we're gonna eat this much in the morning I'm starving, so yeah. please let's dig in and start reviewing a little bit of this food. Start out with my honeydew. You can start with the honeydew. I'll start off with a very big, nice, juicy grape. Mm. You know, I like to think of myself as a grape connoisseur. And um, that's, a yeah. nice, that's a nice, green, juicy grape right there. I've got some honeydew, as I just said. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Mm. It's great. Oh, yeah. My moms would be proud. <laughs> I'm gonna try some of the potatoes here. Nice and warm. It's so good. Okay. Only thing I wish I grabbed was some ketchup, just for just for the potatoes. You yeah. Know? Some potato. I think ketchup goes really good with eggs and potatoes. Mm -hmm. People kind of look at me weird when I put some ketchup on the eggs. I do hot sauce on my eggs typically. Hot sauce. We didn't grab any sauces. We did not. You know what? We might need to go grab some Let's sauces. Let's go grab some sauces. go grab some sauces? We gotta sauce it up, man. All right, sauce it up. Yeah. <laughs> that was, <almost laughs> that was really bad. <laughs> that was really 
All right, so now we got some sauces, you know. She We're got back. Yeah, she got the red it's hot spicy sauce. spicy in here. I got my hot sauce in a little cup to be some fancy. And I uh, also got some ketchup. There we go. I just scrambled eggs. You can never go wrong with Especially with eggs. some hot sauce, man. It's I'm great. Try it. Nice and fluffy here. Oh, yeah. Nice fluffy eggs. Good, crispy, hot potatoes. Mm hmm. Mm, really good. I'm gonna try this French toast. Oh yeah. Get in there, man. Got some good stuff. What a great Sunday morning to just sit down, have some good breakfast mm -hmm. with a friend here in Lakeside Dining Hall. Yeah. Like, come on, this is beautiful. The dining hall is such a great way for people to connect all of the time. I mean, I've met most of my friends first week here, first semester. I would just go up to people, I'd go, hey, I like your shoes. Yeah. You sitting with anybody? No? Cool, you are now. Yeah. <laughs> if they're okay with it. Oh, no, yeah. But... <laughs> no, I remember I actually met a good portion of my friend group when I was a freshman here at the dining hall. You know, you kind of mm -hmm. like, you, you just meet one person and they're like, oh, I met this person. We're all going to, and then they're like, oh, this person met that person. And we all just come down together, sit at a long table. And what better way to bond than just over some food? Exactly. You know? The dessert portion? Desserts. Okay. You got to unwrap yours. I have a little double chocolate muffin here i have a nice that cinnamon. is massive that is i'm not gonna and lie. they have so many yeah i don't think i'm gonna be able to every this. sunday they have one of those here at lakeside i don't think yeah like it's definitely gonna taste really good i just will not feel good if i ate it you know that's way too many calories for me for the rest of the day i'm going for it okay ready cheers <laughs> I might need to finish this whole thing. If you don't, I'll be disappointed. No, it's fine. I mean, it's fine because we got the fruit, you know? Mm -hmm. So it e it's PEMDAS, it equals out. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Math isn't my strong suit, but I don't think that's how that works out. <laughs> well, it, yeah. I'm like... <laughs> so Mel, you are a commuter here at Oswego, and then you were also born and raised here. So two-part question for you. When it comes to parking here on campus and being a commuter in general, how does a school accommodate for that? And then is there anywhere here in Oswego you think people should come see or visit if they're here at all? Yeah, absolutely. So as a commuter, like you said, I have to drive a car. I gotta go back and forth somehow, right? Um, there is a commuter lot and it's, it's pretty vast. There's a lot of different spaces there, um, ranging kind of from like George Washington Boulevard to around Shinneman, Murano campus, around there. Um, and it, what's really interesting too is because I'm a freshman, a lot of places don't offer commuters like for freshmen. Like you cannot have a car on campus. Same with the residency, um, and that was something I looked into heavily as well because I didn't just go here because I'm from here. Yeah. I, a lot of people do assume that I came here because it, it, it offered what I was looking for in a yeah. college, and it, it did happen to be close to home, which was nice because I can yeah. still see you know my dad every whenever I need to, you know, and that's I'm very close with him, so that plays a factor, but. As far as schooling goes and accommodations, they, they do have parking options. Regarding where to go. Okay, yes. So, I, my favorite place to go, especially when the weather is nicer, um, is Brightbeck Park. Brightbeck Park. Brightbeck Park. Yes. I would um, take my bike and I would just go across Brightbeck Park. You have the lake right there. They really have some great like fire pits during the summer that you can rent and it's really not that expensive to rent. Although, you also don't necessarily have to. You can still sit in that area. They have um, glass walls and then there's rocking chairs and you can just like kind of relax and look at the water. They also have a, a new splash zone. So if you have yeah, your splash you know, zone. Mm -hmm. people around, I mean, college age kids maybe aren't going to the splash zone, but. Yeah, there is a basketball court right there also at Bright Beck Park that yes. I've actually utilized quite a bit. I'm only a few blocks from there. And right that now. was newly done in yes. the last like yeah. couple years. Yeah, so. the basketball court. They also, I'm pretty sure that's there's mini golfing too, right? Right there. Yes, yeah. That is also a new addition. It's, it really is a great area. And like I said, it's College Town. There's, we have a movie theater like right on uh, West Second Street. If you want to just like go on the weekend, or maybe if the weather's like this, you can really check it out. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for being a part of the Lakeside Dining Hall series. This has been the first of four episodes. I want to thank you, Melinda, for being a part of it. This was a great way to start the day. Thank you for having me on. This is gonna be major. Yes, it will be. <laughs> shout out major discussions, shout out OX5. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My arm didn't get in your shot, I, I didn't mean to.
Nah, that's fine. <laughs> How did that look, Matt? 